Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Which graph shows the variation of amplitude with intensity for a wave? Now, we know that there is this formula that exists that the intensity everywhere is directly proportional to the square of the amplitude of the wave. Bigger is the amplitude, better is the intensity, and i is directly equal to a square. And definitely, this is a parabolic variation, like y is directly proportional to x square. And how does the graph for this kind of a variation look like? This is why this is x, it looks like this. So in the first instance, we will say that b is the answer. But you have to be like a, a very cleverly, they have a, did something very different here. And the question becomes very different. What, like according to this, y-axis should have intensity. But on the y-axis, they have amplitude. And on the x-axis, they have the intensity. They have clearly substituted the axis and so you will not be getting this variation anymore because now y is on the x-axis and the x is written on the y-axis. Accordingly, for us, the equation will become like this. You see, intensity is directly proportional to a square. Intensity is on the x-axis. This is on the y-axis. So technically, we should say that a square is directly proportional to square root of this. So the variation will be y is equal to k times the square root of x. So you can go and check on Desmos or anywhere else, like what will be the graph of this, that graph will come out to be this. Isn't it? Like if y is 16, the x will be, um, the x will be, if x is 16, y will be 4, isn't it? So that is why. So according to me, the answer should be a for this variation. I'm pretty sure about this thing. And if you people search on this a little bit, even then you would be getting the same answer. But let us see it from the mark scheme. And as you can see that in the mark scheme, the answer given is B. Now there is a problem here. Like why is it? How come the answer is B? I, according to me, the answer will definitely be A. The answer is not going to be B. If you say that B is the answer, only option is that you just replace this thing by intensity and this thing by amplitude, otherwise the answer cannot be B. Answer will definitely be A. Now I don't know what is happening there in the mark scheme. You people can verify the same argument with your teachers also. You can draw this graph with the help of Desmos or your graphing calculator. And you can see this is the graph that you're getting indeed. So this is how we do this question, my dear students. If there is anything else that you want to say, please mention that in the comment section. My dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.